Welcome to your episode recap for Celebrity Apprentice Season 12, Episode 11. It starts off with Lisa vowing to be nice. I'm just gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, Lisa. That's like asking Aubrey to stop being a bitch. Hey, Aubrey, could you stop being a bitch? No. Or telling Tupac to stop rising from the dead. Or telling Jay-Z to retire. So the ugliest guys get to touch the hottest girls on the show, Diana and Aubrey. Arsenio's neck got a taste of Aubrey O'Day's vagina, and Penn got to feel Diana's tits. Well, actually, it was the other way around. Diana got to feel Penn's tits. And then he starts explaining his concept, but just look at the way he does it. Penn is like that awkward, ugly, fat guy who would make any excuse to try to get close to a woman's private parts. Could you help me solve E equals MC squared? I need you to take off your clothes, jump up and down, while I count how many times your tits bounce. No, I won't look at your nipples, I swear. You need to come up with a better plan than that, buddy. Then Aubrey devises this plan to tell Eric that she's the only creative one in Arsenio and Teresa are not. I thought of a million things. I was the only one, by the way. So uh, Arsenio wasn't creative and, and no. Teresa wasn't creative? No. Neither of them can make a strong concept. Arsenio's just like, I don't know, whatever you want. I don't know, what do you think? He's never in the history of me working with him ever had an opinion about anything. Aubrey's such a backstabbing little bitch. Don't you agree? Even though they're only a three-person team, she sends Arsenio and Teresa to go shopping while she stays behind. Then when Eric Trump walks in, she's like, oh, they're not here. I think it was just her plan to try to f Eric. What if I was just some crazy stalker and I wanted to get a lot of photos of you? I think you might be. Oh, Eric, I have you alone now. I really want to f*** Don, but you're not so bad. Am I going to be rich now if I f*** you? Oh, uh, maybe. Psych. <laughs> you can clean the bathrooms, though. I don't clean bathrooms. I'm Aubrey O'Day. I love Diana Mendoza, but sometimes you're just like, what the f*** are you saying? Volatile. I hope she's not trying to bust my peanuts. You heard it here first. Diana has a penis. What time's time? This is gonna be sound horrible. A lot of times Diana makes suggestions and I don't understand her. Clay speaks too soon because I don't think anyone understands his hair. Am I the only one who thinks Clay looks exactly like the Chucky doll? <laughs> and after Teresa says she feels victory, a sign falls right off the wall. Victory. Look, I don't believe in superstition, but damn! How weird is that? And for the photo of Diana in Trump's cologne success, am I the only one who thinks they made this gorgeous woman look utterly hideous? She looked like a brown version of Alexander Rodriguez from City of God. I just want to hear Aubrey scream. <laughs> then in the boardroom, of course, Lisa and Aubrey are butt buddies again, as usual. She likes you a lot, Aubrey, you know that. I oh, she's love real capable. I'm so tired of Lisa trying to crawl so far up Aubrey O'Day's ass all the time. I really think she's secretly in love with her. I think they should just get a suite together and shoot a gay porno. And make their gay charities really happy. Including every stray guy in America, by the way. Redhead on blondie bitch. Well, as long as they cut out Lisa's face in the porno. I don't think Aubrey would sleep with Lisa even if she was gay. I love Arsene Hero, but he really played Aubrey dirty this week when he claimed to come up with that quote, trust your instincts. I thought I did something that was really important. That's found a quote from you that- That was totally Aubrey's. I f***ing hate Aubrey, but that was hers, not Arsene Hero's. How about trust your instincts? That's what he does. I mean, that was so up. was uh, saying that something that we knew to, to try you talked about trusting your gut it's yours Arsenio you can't even say the quote what was it again it was uh, saying that then Trump's not stupid he asked Clay if he ever thought of using Lisa in that photo shoot as opposed to Diana Mendoza Miss Universe did you ever consider using Lisa <laughs> No, Trump was such a dick there. I mean, what other answer was he expecting? And why has the word bullying become so synonymous with the gay and lesbian charities? Are gays the only group of people being bullied? What about entire races? Asians, Indians, redheads with freckles? What about them? Don't they have a right to stop being bullied? Sounds like an awesome charity for Clay. Why didn't he support that one? The last time I checked, four gay guys had their own TV show bullying straight guys on how they dress. <laughs> straight guys are so terrified of a gay guy passing by, poking fun at their clothes in front of a hot woman. Does this look right on me? Hell no! <laughs> and why is it that the only people supporting gay charities are the two fucking straight people? Aubrey and Lisa. Or are they? I don't know. Not Clay, the only mother gay guy on the show. Lisa, what's your charity? The gay men's health crisis in New York City. And the only gay mother on the show's charity? The National Inclusion Project. That's been your episode recap for Celebrity Apprentice episode 11, season 12. On to the question of the episode. If Lisa and Aubrey made a gay porno, what would that be called? <laughs>